Hello, my name is Julio and I'm going to show you through a series of video tutorials what a Sloodle is and mainly I'm going to talk about a Sloodle plugin called Sloodle Tracker. Today I'm going to give you a very brief overview of Sloodle and some of its basic features and then a small introduction to the Sloodle Tracker. Sloodle is an open source Moodle module which integrates this virtual learning environment with Second Life making possible the communication between Moodle activities or Moodle assignments and in-world objects in Second Life. In other words, we can complete different Moodle activities from Second Life using their corresponding in-world objects. Mm, this software is divided in two parts, which you have to download separately. The server-side modules um, that you have to install in your Moodle installation as a normal Moodle extension and a set of Second Life objects which are the tools you will use in world to communicate with the Moodle activities. If you are new to Sloodle, the first thing you should do is visit the official website sloodle.org. You will find there a lot of good documentation. You can download the software and learn how to install it, how to use it. Uh, and know where and how you can obtain the in-world objects. Going deeper into this is beyond the scope of these videos, so I'll show you directly some Sloodle components working. Um, I have here my Moodle installation where I've already installed Sloodle and I've created a basic course. Um, inside this course there are three basic Moodle activities, my quiz, my choice activity and my chat room. All three useful Moodle components that can be performed now from Second Life using Sloodle. And I also have here my Sloodle controller, which is necessary in every single Moodle course in which you want to use Sloodle. Um, we can open the quiz. We can see that no attempts have been made yet. Uh, we can see the questions, three very easy questions with three um, possible answers, each one. Um, we can go back and open my choice activity uh, we see here this question which what's your favorite Shakespeare play um, six responses for example Hamlet is empty now um, right so what I'm going to do next is going into Second Life and do from there these activities using the Sloodle objects these are just a few Sloodle tools. This one is the Sloodle Quiz Chair um, that allows me to answer the different questions of a Moodle quiz. So if I just right click and see it here, the quiz starts automatically. And I will get in these dialog boxes the th different questions. For example, this one, Freddie Mercury was the leader of Queen. That's correct. Second one, who won the last FIFA World Cup? that was Spain, so one card again. I'm going to, to answer this last question wrongly, so who painted Mona Lisa? I'm going to say Vincent van Gogh, and that's not correct. So um, I get my score. This score has been sent to Moodle. We will see it later, right? So I can go to the next object. This tool allows me to take part in the um, choice activity we saw before. This is the same question. What's your favorite Shakespeare play? I have here all the options. I'm going to choose Hamlet. So by clicking on the green bar, I see that my selection has been made, has been recorded as well, as you see here, and sent to Moodle. Moving to the last object, we find a chat blogger a tool that allows me to take part in a chat session in Moodle. So if I click on the object and I choose one, record me, I'm being recorded now from Moodle. So I can type here that I am being recorded, recorded by Moodle from Second Life. All right. So, um, I've taken part in three Moodle activities from Second Life using Sloodle. Uh, if I go back to my course now, I can um, open my quiz activity. 
and see that one student made one attempt. Having exactly the same score I got from Second Life, of course I am that student. And if we see the questions, what we find is the same, exactly the same answers I provided from Second Life. We can do the same with the choice activity. If we open it, we see that, of course, Hamlet is my selection now. Uh, there is one more response, and that's, of course, my response under Hamlet. So, just to summarize, I had here a normal Moodle course with different Moodle elements, and using this Moodle, I was able to take the Moodle activities from within Second Life. Of course, Sroodle is not only these two or three components I showed you, there is a long list of Moodle activities that you can do from Second Life, and even some Sloodle specific tools that you can use to improve your Moodle experience. Um, for more information about Sloodle, you can visit the official website, sloodle.org. To finish with this first video, I'm going to introduce you now to a new Sloodle plugin called Sloodle Tracker. We have already seen how Sloodle allows you to perform Moodle activities from Second Life. Um, we could say that Moodle activities have their corresponding virtual object and we can move Moodle activities to Second Life. This new component goes instead in the other direction, allowing you to kind of move Second Life activities into Moodle. More exactly, what you can do with this plugin is track or see from Moodle the progress made by the student on a set of tasks which are part of a more complex activity in Second Life. As an example, I've created here my tra tracker activity where a student can see that he has to go into Second Life and perform, in this case, a couple of tasks uh, that is fine and touch two objects. Uh, the fact of going into Second Life is a task itself. So if we go again into Second Life, I go to the little area and um, I find here on my right hand side the two objects that I have to touch but first my presence has been detected by a scanner which has sent that information into Moodle so if I go back to my tracker activity I see that the first task going into the virtual world is already complete all I have to do now is touch the two objects and Again, this action will be sent into Moodle. So if I touch here the first object, I touch here the second object, and now I go back to my tracker activity, I refresh the page, and I see that the three tasks have been completed now. Uh, so this is a very basic example of what you can do with this plugin, track interactions with Second Life objects from Moodle. Uh, we will see in future videos how this tool can be used in more complex and collaborative activities. Bye-bye!